We are engaged in a war. This war does not, for the moment, involve men at arms. It involves information. Something important has come up. We've got a Soviet spy. We want you to defend him. I'm an insurance lawyer. I haven't done criminal work in years. Have you represented many accused spies? This will be a first for the both of us. You should be careful. I didn't know anything about Abel Powers' exchange. I knew about Gary Powers because all of us had heard that the U-2 spy plane had been shot down and Gary Powers had been put on the public trial. And I didn't realize that something had happened subsequent to his capture, which was this very backroom exchange, spy swap. And uh, when I first heard the story, it was hard to believe that for me, I listened to the story, I said, this sounds like a film, this sounds like a movie. Did, did this really happen? We certainly checked on the events and the events that we depict in our film, the actual events are absolutely true. Tell me what happened. They got our spy pilot or the head full of classified information. We got their guy. We want you to negotiate the swap so it's not governments talking. You could prevent a full thermonuclear exchange with the Soviet Union. I'm talking to you about the security of your country. Where do they want this negotiation to take place? East Berlin. I started getting together with the actors long before we started making the movie. I called Mark Rylance. I talked to uh, Scott Shepard. We had all the guys that were the other, you know, the CIA guys. And we would meet days, sometimes weeks in advance of shooting the scene just to go over the scenes. Just to, even if it was just the dialogue. Because I knew, and I sometimes I would explain to the guys, I said, guys, this is how it works with Steven. Show up ready. There's not gonna be a time of exploration or experimentation. While you're shooting is when you experiment and explore. Because Steven will change shots and get stuff that you never planned for. In a million years. There are only a few routes left to the east. Rule of law is less firmly established over there. Just avoid interaction with people generally. You don't belong. <laughs> We need to have the conversation our governments can't. You're an American, you could well be detained. Definitely stay away from the wall. Cross it and you'll be shot. When I shot the scenes, we built a lot of the wall. We built, you know, probably a good 300 yards of the wall. I looked at the wall and I just said, did this really happen? Berlin was divided like this? And it just brought back a, a time in my life when walls started to go up all over the world, most of them invisible walls but walls nonetheless. There are a lot of people who doesn't want this exchange to ever take place. We are not leaving them here. Things have started to fall apart. There's a cost to these things. A cost to both your country and your family. We need this to be an exchange. No!